Okay, uh, last SEC road uh, road game, last SEC game for us. Um, you know, uh, you look, this is our 10th game. Uh, you think back of the summer, and if somebody would have told us we'd have made it through 10 SEC games, you know, that, that would have been a big accomplishment. Uh, real proud of our team, the way they handled themselves with the COVID etiquette and everything that goes with it. Um, you know, we're playing a Mississippi State team that you see that is probably playing their best ball of the season. Um, you know, they played George and Ole Miss on the road very close, had chances to win. You look at their defense, uh, you know, they're very good against the run. They're very disrupted with the different things they do offensively. Uh, real impressed with the quarterback um, since he's taken over the starting job. He's protected the ball uh, very well uh, considering how many times he's thrown the ball. So looking forward to, to playing our last SEC game on the road uh, against a very solid Mississippi State team. Questions? First question is Jordan Hill. Yes, you kind of hit on it there, but like you said, Mississippi State has seemed to kind of turn a corner down here at the end of the year. What sort of stands out to you as far as what's helped them sort of get things together? Yeah, I, th I think, you know, their defense, they, they've been disrupted really all year. Uh, they're, they're impressive uh, when you watch them on film. Uh, against some really good offenses. Uh, they've, they've done a good job against the run. You know, I think the big thing is they're protecting the football uh, better than they did the first half of the season. So I think it's a combination of really those two things. What, how important is preparation this week given that they do seem to be playing their best ball? Yeah, you know, and plus I should have said this, they've had an off week too to prepare for us, two weeks to prepare. You know, there's there's nothing like that. You know, we uh, we actually earlier in the year when we were going to play them, uh, we had an off week leading up to that. And, of course, we had uh, a few practices to at least, um, you know, get a, a foundation of, of what they do and kind of how to plan with that. So hopefully that will help us. Hope there will be a good recall from that week. And, uh, you know, we can, you know, hit the ground running with that. Nathan King. I guess. I was wondering if there was any sort of update on Christian Tut, whether that injury was something bad or just or, or nothing at all. Yeah, so, uh, you, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see about practice today um, and see what he can and can't do, you know. Um, we'll probably know more on Thursday. It could be one of those things like it's been kind of with Tank up to this point and Broderis, um, you know, like it's been the last two weeks. But we'll see how he progresses. Steve Bolton. Coach, uh, how important is uh, finishing off the season the right way and kind of carrying that momentum into bowl season? Uh, you know, I think that's very important. And we actually talked about that with our team, um, you know, Sunday after the game that, uh, you know, we weren't fortunate enough to get these seniors out on a victory. So this is a big game for us. And, uh, you know, we want to do everything in our power to try to get a victory. Like I said, it's, it's not going to be easy. Uh, on the road in our league with a team that's playing good football right now. And, um, so it'll be a challenge, but I think that'd be very important if we can get the victory. From an offensive standpoint, uh, how much have you studied the air raid and how different uh, overall philosophy-wise is the air raid system, Coach? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's it's pretty unique uh, compared to the teams we've, we've seen uh, this year. A very unique, kind of different approach, throw to open up the run. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm hoping that that week, that off week that we had that where the game got canceled, uh, that preparation, I'm hoping that really helps us too. You know, just getting a good, uh, um, you know, good footing on everything with our plan. And uh, but they present challenges. Uh, there's no doubt. Like I said, they've been protecting the football, and and I think that's been a big factor. Jason Caldwell. Gus, guys, guys haven't played as many guys on defense as normal um, this year. Do, do you have to look at this one going into this week, and especially? the back seven and go, well, we may need to, to rotate a few more guys considering yeah. like 70 times. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 that conversation's come up. Uh, we'll see how the game unfolds. Uh, kind of like we talked about last time, that the uniqueness of this year with having 10 SEC games has kind of hurt us our ability to play as many as we have in the, la the past when we had non-conference games and all that. But each game unfolds a little bit different. But, but obviously, like you said, I mean, they, they throw it and they throw it and they throw it. And, you know, you, you need as many uh, DBs or fresh DBs you can get. Jordan Hill. Gus, any sense if DJ Williams will be available going into this week? You know, uh, I believe DJ is going to practice this week. You know, at least he's going to give it a go and see how he's doing. I know he wants to to play in this last game, but we'll we'll see. You know, he wasn't able to to play last week. 
Uh, and we just made the decision, hey, let's rest it up and see what you can do this week. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll have that answer later in the week also. Mark Murphy. Well, I was going to ask about DJ, but just in general, how's the team health-wise now? Uh, you, you know, I think overall uh, we're doing okay, you know, especially for 10 straight SEC uh, games, you know. Um, we're hopeful that the guys that played last game will be able to play again. Um, like I said, a few of those guys will will wait until later in the week to, to be able to make a call. John Zener. Uh, yeah, Gus, I know probably the passing game hasn't been as consistent as you'd want it to be, but in general, how dangerous a duo are Seth and, and Anthony? Yeah, I mean, I think they're very dangerous. And uh, you see production-wise, I mean, really, um, you know, Anthony is coming on. He's really, you know, becoming a complete receiver. And so, you know, those two guys, uh, along with Bo, you know, I think uh, they've got connections and uh, they got a really good feel for each other. Jeff Spiegel. Gus, I don't know any coach in America who has logged more hot seat so-called time than you have. How tiresome is that? And how much of a hindrance is that in you trying to do your job? Yeah, you know, I've got a job that I've said before expects to win championships, and I do too. And, um, you know, the years that you're not in the mix, that's that's, that's just part of it. But uh, I'm blessed to, to be here and I'm um, excited about it. Uh, you know, not only this game, but I'm excited about, you know, next year. Tom Green. Gus, you mentioned the challenges that the air raid kind of presents since it's an offense that you don't really see that often. But how, how helpful is it that, you know, Kevin in his career has had multiple opportunities to, you know, kind of scheme that offense up before? Yeah, I, th I think there's nothing like what you just said. Uh, a coordinator that has experience in, in semi similar offenses and all that and has went against it, and I think that definitely helps. And like I said, I, you know, I'm hoping that extra week that we had will, will also come into play and give us some kind of help too. Justin Ferguson. Hey, guys, so we're coming at the end of Bo's second season as your starter. Uh, where do you think he's kind of taking steps forward this year? And w what areas do you think, you know, you want to really focus on with him heading into year three? Yeah, you, you know, I think just the experience, you can tell that he's more experienced. You know, he's more of a, a team leader, his leadership. Um, you know, his toughness, his competitiveness uh, really, really is starting to show even more. Um, so I think he's in a super spot. And then the fact that, you know, he'll be able to actually go through spring with Coach Morris and his receivers and do all the different things, that preparation that you normally get to do, uh, that's really going to help. Steve Bolton. Coach, uh, kind of a bigger question, a bigger picture question, if I could. Uh, the one-time transfer rule looks like it's coming up and passing. Well, what do you think about that, and how, how much do you think that may have an impact overall in college football? Well, I think it'll have a big impact in college football, and I think that changes really the the recruiting uh, landscape and how traditional recruiting, um, you know, has been in the past. So we'll have to see. You know, like I said, there's a lot of new things happening, and uh, I think you got to be prepared to adjust, and uh, you know, that's that's what we're trying to do. Mark Murphy. Yeah, can you talk about the defensive line issues in the last game? And, and I guess this is going to be a totally different type of game for the defensive line this week. Yeah, I, I think for sure it's going to be a, a different type of game. Um, you know, last week, you know, we uh, they got after us pretty good, you know. And uh, so we'll just continue to improve. Like I said before, we have uh, we lost some really talented guys last year. And uh, we've got some guys, young guys that are growing. And uh, but it's completely different this week. I mean, it's just from one extreme to the other, and um, you know. So we'll see how it goes. We've got time for a few more versus Jeff Spiegel. Gus, it's been kind of a rocky road for Coach Leach at State, but the last couple of games they've been very competitive. What have you noticed about them? About them that's enabled them to to be more competitive the last couple of games? Yeah, I think it's the two factors I said earlier. I just you know you look, man, they. They, uh, they're shutting down the run. I mean, that, that that's where it starts. I mean, they're shutting down the run. They're very aggressive. They take chances on defense. Uh, they're very disruptive. They're not conventional, okay? So, you know, if you've got a short period of time to prepare for them, there can be some challenges with that. And then 
probably the biggest factors are protecting the football. Earlier in the year, they weren't protecting the football very well, uh, giving their defense short fields and making it tough on their defense. Well, lately they've been protecting the football and scoring some points. So you see a team that has improved, and I think you know those two factors are, are some of the biggest. Tom Green. Hey, Gus, do you have an update on the latest round of COVID testing? Yeah, the last one, we were all negative. Uh, so once again, I mean, I and our our uh, our players have done an outstanding job. Our coaches, really, Doc Goodlett and Robbie, our trainer. I mean, I can't say enough good things about those two, their leadership, uh, and then our players sacrificing to uh, to uh, to be able to do this. And like I said earlier, I mean, we're we're about to play our tenth game, and who would have thought that in in parts of June and even some July? So. Real proud of our, our medical team, real proud of our players, and really our staff, too. Our last one is from David Pascal. Gus, you've touched a couple of times on how tough it is to run on them. I think Georgia had eight rushing yards on them. You've always said your offense is good when it runs and when Bo mixes in some runs. Have, have, they, have you seen, have teams been able to attack them with quarterback runs? And along those lines, just how important will that be Saturday night? <laughs> Yeah, of course, you know, with us, I mean, we, 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 we need to run the football effectively. Just like I said last week, which, you know, I think we did a really solid job against the number one, um, you know, defense, uh, you know, in the league and just didn't have a lot of possessions. But, you know, it's going to be similar. I mean, we're going to have to earn it. You, you know, you're going to have to earn the rushing yards. And, you know, Bo being a part of the running game, we've said this before, it makes it opens up more. And uh, so strategically, we'll try to do that. Uh, there hadn't been a whole lot of quarterbacks uh, up to this point, been successful running, but, you know, we'll see how it goes.